Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. How are you all today? I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from New South Wales in Australia. I sell all crafting products and today is a super, super exciting day. Stamping Up today is turning 30 today. It's their 30 year birthday celebration. So to um, celebrate the 30 year birthday celebration, they have a massive sale on. So we've got 15% off selected stamp sets. So I'm actually going to show you today. I know I'm early. I know I said I was coming on at 1.30, but I'm, I'm pushed for time today. I've got to go and get children from school and things. I've just finished doing a uh, stamp and stack Christmas card class, which was absolutely awesome. Um, so Julie and Tabitha had a wonderful time. They made eight Christmas cards this morning um, and it was a fun, awesome morning. So hello everyone. Jump on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. Um, so what I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to run through some of the awesome specials that we have. Um, I'm going to show you the stamp sets and I'm actually going to do some cards with the stamp sets, some of the stamp sets that are on sale today. So um, just to show you, it may be something that was on your wish list and you're wondering, should I get it? Shouldn't I get it? Maybe today I might push you over the edge and you might get it. The other awesome thing to let you know is if you wanted to join my Wild Heart Crafters team today, you can put these awesome items at the sale price in your starter kit. So you're allowed to add the starter kit um, products, sorry, you're allowed to add the sale products in your starter kit. And that is super, super awesome because I can tell you, not normally do they let you put any special items. Sorry, I better turn that down. Oh my God, you don't need to hear my voice. Um, so not normally are you allowed to add some of the sale items to your starter kit. So it's a super, super exciting offer. So I'm just going to um, share my video into a couple of groups so that then we can get moving on and um, get on with crafting and showing you what's for sale. Hey Karen, how are you going? So if you're new to my live crafting sessions, please jump on say hello, let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to comment and ask me questions because I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, now, if you share my video and you live in Australia, you share my video and you type in the comments that you have shared, you will go into a draw to win the Winter Wood stamp set this year, this, this month, which is a beautiful stamp set. If you love the Lovely as a Tree stamp set, you are absolutely going to um, love the Winter Wood stamp set as well. So you may be the lucky winner to win the Winterwood stamp set. So the way you get an entry, you have to live in Australia. All you need to do is share my video on your Facebook timeline um, because you never know. Some of your friends that are out there may enjoy um, watching my live crafting sessions and they may enjoy seeing our awesome stamping up products. And every time that you share, that helps me get the word out there to the general public how awesome these um, stamping up products are. So bear with me, I'm just trying to get my... Um, my tablet up and running so I can sit it in front of me and see everybody's comments. So hopefully that's going to work today. The last time I tried to do it, it played up. Um, but hopefully it will be on my side today. Um, so, um, as I said, if you're new to my channel, please say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Hey, Carol, how are you going? From Nowra, Carrie. I, 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 Carol, are you new to watching me, Carol? I think I've seen you on before, actually. Sorry, I'm just waiting for that video to come up on my um, my tablet, and I will be right to go, hopefully. Come on, come on, let me see it. It's just sitting there spinning, having a wonderful time. Hey, Gail. Hey, Catherine. G'day, Karen. How are you going? Thank you for joining. So... 
who is going to buy or who's already ordered in this awesome sale today i have been so surprised i have been getting online orders throughout the morning which has absolutely made my day so if you've ordered through my online store today thank you very much if after this video you decide that you want to um check out some of these awesome deals i've got the link to my website up the top in the information so all you need to do is click on that you'll find that there's a shop online now tab um, if you click on that tab it'll re re reveal a button if you click on that button that will take you to my shop now tab um, so or you can just click on the shop now tab at the top of my business page and that will take you straight to my um, my online store now I'm still waiting for that to happen it so doesn't want to show me anything here today so, um, what I wanted to say is, um, if you haven't liked my business page, please like my business page and turn on the notifications. Here we go. I finally got it up on my tablet so I can see what's going on. Okay, I'm right. I can see all of the comments and things happening over there. Okay, um... And if you use, I have a host code and it's pinned to the top of my business page. And if you use the host code this month, if your order is under $250 today, I will actually send you a free gift if you pop on an, an order through my online store today. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip your board and we're going to check out all of these awesome stamp sets. Put a bit of light on the subject. We're going to check out some of these awesome stamp sets that are available in this excellent sale. So, I don't have all of the stamp sets, but I do have a fair few of them. So, I decided that I would get the pile out and I would go through the pile and show you what is on sale at the moment. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go through my pile and I hopefully I'm going to do it in order. Thank you, Catherine, for sharing. Oh, it's your third time, Carol, for, for watching. So, well, thank you very much for joining me. I'm so pleased that you've decided to join me. Okay, so one of the first things off the list is Time for Tea. Time for Tea is an awesome stamp set. Um, it... Um, I've, it's brand new. I actually haven't used my time for tea stamp set yet, but I actually have an idea that I'm going to do probably some of my swaps for on stage, um, with this. So that's actually why I ordered it. So I only actually ordered it only about, um, two weeks ago. So, um, and I have an idea that I'm going to use it for. It comes with some beautiful framelits. Now at the sale today, um, is, um, is only on stamp sets it's not on framelits um, and as I said if you wanted to join my team and get awesome discount 20% discount off all your next orders um, you can add these stamp sets into um, your starter kit so that is a fantastic idea if you wanted to join my team please let me know you get to choose $235 worth of retail product and you only pay $169 I've already got one girl that's signing up this afternoon and I've got another couple that are thinking about it so it is no better time than now to be um, joining stamping up and there's no pressure you don't have to sell um, hey Roberta how you going thanks for joining so Time for Tea, beautiful stamp set. It's reduced down to $25.50, which is an awesome price. Um, another Wonderful Year is another stamp set. I've actually ordered that this morning because it's got some beautiful sentiments in it. And I'll just grab my catalogue so that we can go through the ones that I don't have so you can see what they're all about. So page 21. Okay, this one here. Now, it's a big double stamp set. Um, and the sentiments are quite large. So um, I actually, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to jump on this morning and order um, because I, I think it covers most things. Best dad ever, celebrate um, another wonderful year, love you more, just a friendly hello, merry and bright, so it's good for Christmas, thinking of you, congratulations, we are so happy for you, you're invited, everything I am, you helped me to be, um, greatly appreciate all you do and thank you thank you so it covers quite a few occasions so that is one that i've actually popped onto um my list vertical greetings is a popular stamp set 
This stamp set has been around. Um, it was in our last year's catalogue and it returned again in this year's catalogue. I have actually done um, one of my monthly stamp clubs. Um, we use the Vertical Greeting stamp set. I think it's fantastic because sometimes you need to be able to... Um, change the the greeting up and have it vertical for a change and still have your card in portrait style so it um it works out great and it's got lots and uh, lots of different sentiments so you can use it for other occasions the next one is best bunny now i don't have the best bunny it's on page 36 in our catalog which it's this one here now the best bunny is not actually um an Easter one it um, it can be used for lots and lots of different purposes you can change it into sorry I thought I had my notifications off I, positive I had my notifications off no that's on yeah it was off okay it's just that I could hear it um, so best bunny is also on sale as well um, we have one for all this is a super, super stamp set, and I'm going to be using this in my live video today. It has a massive big happy birthday, um, sending hugs. Thank you so much. So great for thank you cards. Have the best day ever. So it is a fantastic stamp set. It was definitely a must-have, and I um, made sure that was on my list right at the very beginning when our um, catalogue went live in June. The next one is Bubbles and bubbly i don't have that that's on page 43 that is this one here it's really cute and very quirky pamper yourself you deserve this today is your day so it's a super super quick cute little quirky stamp set you've got style is also um on sale um and i think that's great for all those trendy grandmas out there and things you can imagine um trendy grandmas with all their jewelry and their handbag and um, so, um sipping on a bit of bubbly but there's a cute little cat there too so i actually have ordered that one today because i thought it would be great to have um a, a nice stamp set for something a little bit crazy um okay in every season 46 i don't think i have no i don't in every season is a beautiful um flower stamp set now that is great for using our blends i've seen a lot of people emboss the flowers first and then color with their blends hey kathy how are you going hey judy thanks for joining so um it's a beautiful stamp set the only thing is about that one it doesn't have any sentiment so you need to pick a really nice sentiment stamp set to have to go with it but um fantastic stamp set nonetheless okay um en route i don't have that um, it's a great holiday one um, for people for travelers and things I think it would be great for scrapbooking I think as far as doing um, some lovely layouts um, hey Becca hey Sherry thanks for joining so lovely layouts and things for scrapbooking the en route so um, I think it's a great stamp set that would be fantastic as I said for scrapbooking it's on sale what else do we have friendly expressions now i have friendly expressions and i'm going to use it in part of my live video today massive big sentiments but beautiful script so i think it's absolutely fantastic stamp set and it has happy to know you life is tough but so are you congratulations to you thanks for all you do you make me proud some so some great sentiments there in the friendly expression stamp set okay um one wild ride i don't have that that's on page 55 great stamp set for male orientated cards hey deborah how are you going thanks for sharing judy um so fantastic stamp set for male orientated cards and the um the lovely motorbike i think is fantastic and it's got that sort of grungy type of look so it's quite um quite good for doing some blokey type cards Okay, um, where are we? Peaceful Place is on 59. Um, this one lends to doing a little bit of watercolouring. Um, I think if you're into watercolouring, it's probably a great um, stamp set for that. It's got some great sentiments. Thinking of you with gratitude for your part in my journey. It's your day. May God be with you today and give you peace of mind. So um, a great stamp set there. Apron of love, I don't have. I keep, it's always on my wish list and I keep putting it off. Um, I love the little flowers. The flowers are great for using our stamparatus and doing some of those beautiful wreath stamps. Um, 
You're making sentiments for your Christmas cards. Well done, Deborah. Hey, Jan, thanks for joining. So the next one on our sale list is birthday backgrounds, and I'm going to use that one in... Where is that stamp set? I had it. Um, birthday backgrounds. I did have that. I'm positive I had that out. Or did I not? Let me see over here. Is it here in this? I was positive I had birthday backgrounds out because I was definitely going to do a card with it. Um, gallery grunge? No. Sorry, bear with me, people. I'm just trying to look through here. I have it, but I can't. I don't know where I've put it. Okay, not up there. No, no. Well, that one's gone missing. That one's a mystery because I do have birthday backgrounds somewhere. Is it in this pile and I'm overlooking it? No, I have no idea where that's gone, but I do have birthday backgrounds. I did have it out to do, um, oh, to do some stamping with it today, but... No idea where that one's gone. But anyway, birthday backgrounds will show you in the um in the picture here, 71. It's a fun, quirky stamp set for doing some great colored backgrounds and things. So that one there. Um, but mm, I have no idea what I've actually done with that today. But anyway, um birthday banners is also on sale and it's on page 73. So this one down here which I think is um, a great stamp set. It actually coordinates with the bunch of banners, framelits um, that we have on page 216, um, but some great birthday stamp sets there. Hey, Joni, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Um, cake soiree. Um, no, sorry, have I done blow out the candles? Did I do that one? No, blow out the candles is on 77. Okay, this one here is a cute little birthday stamp set as well. So it has framelits that match that you can cut out all the balloons, the cakes, and the candles and the cake stands. So that's fantastic. Um, cake Soiree is a big double stamp set that was in our um, annual catalog. I actually know it was in our occasions catalog and then it made it into our annual catalog. So it's a big double stamp set. Beautiful for doing wedding cards and special birthday celebration cards. So um, a, a beautiful stamp set that you would um, definitely not go wrong by purchasing that. Sweet baby, super, super cute stamp set. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you're labeling punches with numbers and name well done angie i do that every now and then because i can guarantee every time i use my punches in a live video i forget what the name of them is um labels to love i don't have but i've actually ordered that one which is page 103 um i think it's fantastic it's got some great christmas um labels Halloween, um, a thank you label, ho, 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 love, to and from, made with love, and a beautiful um, stamp that will actually outline your framelit, and it fits, it coordinates with our everyday label punch. So I have the everyday label punch, and I did have some other stamp sets that were in our um, last holiday catalog that matched this um, this actual punch so i've decided that i ordered that so i actually did order that today um what else do we have beautiful promenade now beautiful promenade is a simply gorgeous stamp set absolutely lovely stamp set i did an online card class with the beautiful promenade i've also done some scrapbooking classes with this i have to say this is a simply beautiful stamp set so it's actually on sale today as well um kindness and compassion which is this stamp set this has got some great sentiments in it and i know that we don't enjoy making sympathy cards but um unfortunately it is part of our life and we do have to um make cards like that every now and then so it's actually quite nice to actually have them on hand so that when something um sad like someone passing away we actually have something that we can um and it's got some beautiful we are sincerely grateful for your kindness and compassion our sincere condolences with heartfelt gratitude 
gratitude. It's deeply appreciated and will always be remembered by our family. Sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. Absolutely. Thank you for your kind expression of sympathy. So some beautiful stamp sets there for those cards, as I said, that we don't enjoy having to make, but we do have to make them. A big thank you is a very, very popular set. Now, this was an online card class. It was always also one of my monthly stamp cards. It's a great all-rounder. So if you make a lot of thank you cards, I would say that this is a definite must-have on your list. Hey, Diane, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Um, please feel free to say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. So a big thank you. Um, fantastic. It is definitely a must-have. Um, be thankful. Oh, this one is so super cute. I, I didn't order it. It has been on my on my radar for quite a while, but I think it's so, so cute. Where are we? Um, be thankful. 125. Sorry, I'm on the wrong pages here. 125. Super, super cute. And I think that it's just such a bold statement. You can use your blends with it and make it in all different colours. Um, you can do um, ombre looks. You can do so many things with this stamp set. Um, and as you can see, beautiful, bold thank you cards. So it's actually quite good. You never know. I might turn around and end up ordering that tonight, knowing my luck. Um, I will probably end up doing something like that. Floral Frames is another one. This is a simply beautiful stamp set with some lovely flowers. Um, Mediterranean, my, oh, sorry, Swirly Frames. Now, Swirly Frames, I'm going to use this in my card today. It's not necessarily Swirly Frames, but I'm going to make a background. I had... Um, Lisa, that is part of my um, Australian card making and scrapbooking group, actually asked me could I do some background stamping. She's struggling with doing some backgrounds. So I'm going to show you how you can use a simple stamp set and we'll do some um, background stamping and then pop a bold sentiment over the top. So that one was called Swirly Frames. Mediterranean Moments, I don't have. 147... But I will show you what it looks like. This is another one for watercoloring. So very fine, very detailed, um, detailed, beautiful stamps. But um, excellent for watercoloring. So if you're into watercoloring, all you need is our Black Stays On ink pad. Stamp it in our Black Stays On and then go crazy watercoloring. So they are fantastic stamp sets for that. And it's a million dollar achiever stamp set, that one. So it's a very, very special Stamp set, um, all the good things, 151. Okay, now this is one of our new distinctive stamp sets. Now, it's got a beautiful fish, uh, lovely um, bonsai tree, absolutely a, a stunning stamp set. I actually haven't got it because I don't know whether I have the call for... Um, that type of card but um i know a lot of, it's been very popular with a lot of people so um just because i'm not really um fussed on something i am truthful i am up front and say what i think but yeah um but it's a very good it's a distinctive stamp set i've seen some gorgeous cards that have been made with it so just because it's not on my radar doesn't mean it can not be on someone else's seize the day 157 i don't have this one either um, it is a distinctive stamp set as well, and I think if you're very um, artistic, you would probably really, really enjoy this stamp set. Hey, Amelia, you're watching from Cooma in New South Wales. I know exactly where Cooma is, um, Amelia, because um, I used to go to the snow quite a bit, and we used to stop off at Cooma to look at all the snow gear, so I know exactly where you come from. Um, so welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my live crafting. Okay, so um, storybook is another one. I don't have this one. Um, the mice really don't do it for me, but I think if you had um, some children that were into cute little mice and, and toadstools and things, I think you would absolutely love that one as well. Um, better with you, 169. 
Let me see what that one is. Better with you. This one I think would um, be fantastic for blends and things as well. I could see doing a great background with these stamps as well in this set. So um, you could do like a multicolored background with that stamp as well. I think the flower and the bird um, watercoloring using our blends I think would be um, great. Yes, exactly, um, Angie. The the little mice would make some cute little um, children's cards. Exactly. Um, pick a pennant is another one that I have um, and it's great because you can actually stamp anything on these um, pennant style things here so you could actually um, tailor a card especially to a certain person all right so super super sale so people if you want to get 15% off those stamp sets get in today and place your orders online as I said use my online host code and um, you will get a nice, cute little gift from me sent to you through the post for ordering today to celebrate our 30 years celebration with Stamping Up. All right, so I'm going to pop all those things aside, and now I'm going to have a little bit of fun creating some backgrounds. But I really need to just give me one minute. I need to go out and check and see if that birthday background is not sitting on the table out where I had my class today. I'm back and yes it was out in my room I thought I had it out because I had planned on doing a card with it and I was like oh my lord that plan has just gone out the window if I can't find it okay so I'm going to use um some different color combinations today and make some super super quick easy cards now I'm afraid to say my live video is going to be a quick one today as I said because I have um Children that I have to go and pick up from school and things and um, instead of being the crafter today, I have to turn into the mother and go and pick up children. Um, hey, Megan, how are you going? Thanks for joining. G'day, Stephanie. Thanks for joining. I hope you're enjoying watching. Christina, nice to see you. Mari, thanks for popping on. Thank you, ladies, for all watching. Haven't seen um, Karen and Matthew. They must be busy today. All right, so... I've looked at a colour combination that I thought might be a great combination. So I have Coastal Cabana, I have Gorgeous Grape, and I have Melon Mang Mambo. So I just thought a nice, lovely, beautiful, bright combination. Deborah's saying, Donna, how did you go with the Lismore Show? The Lismore Show, um, I'm not sure whether I want to do that event again it was great don't get me wrong and a lot of people from the area that are local came to visit um, and introduce themselves to me and believe it or not the um, stamp and stack event that I did this morning two people came to it that actually seen me at the Lismore show they booked in they rang up and booked in on Monday to come today so actually no they messaged me on Sunday to tell you the truth they emailed me on Sunday um, and asked could they come so had I not been at the show plus I've got one person that I think is going to join up with my team plus I have probably about another six or eight people that are interested in doing um, card classes with me that are local so um, yeah it's um, it's yes it's actually um, I think it was worthwhile but I just don't know whether I would like to put in another huge big effort like that again because it was a very massive massive um, effort the three whole days and I was there by myself um, so being by yourself it is very hard to spend that amount of time stuck at a stall um but i hope you enjoyed my live video uh, of all the kids the, the school children from gulmangar i thought they were fantastic they thought it was so exciting to actually be on um on the the camera um when i was live i was like so worried because i thought oh my god i can't let them um be seen on camera because of you know the public identity thing um, bear with me people, I've left all my clear acrylic blocks out in my room, I'll be back one minute.
this is definitely live crafting, isn't it? I've got half things in one room and half the things in another room. So um, bear with me if I'm missing anything because I've just been a little bit busy. Okay, so I'm going to use some different shapes here and I'm going to create a little bit of a background as a center feature on the card. So I've got a round circle here, so I'm going to use that one. I'm just going to mount these all up on a block. Thank you for sharing, Jenny. Thank you for joining. Hey, Tanya, how are you going? Okay, so I'm just going to use some of the smaller ones because I don't... There is some big, large frames here, but I don't actually want to use the large ones. I just want to use all the small ones because I want to keep the, um, the background that I'm doing quite compact if I can. Okay, so we have that one. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a geometrical type of card. That one. Okay. Hello, Blanche. How are you going? Thanks for joining. Is this the first time, Blanche, you have joined me live while I'm crafting? Okay, so I'm going to open up my ink pads now. That one. That one. And that one. Okay. So I'm going to ink up the circle with my Coastal Cabana. Hi, Taylor. How are you going? Thanks for joining. Okay. Circle. And I'm just going to randomly stamp a couple of those like that. Okay. I'm now going to ink up um, my square. And I'm going to, over the top of my circle, and the same here. Okay. Now with my gorgeous grape, I'm going to go like that and like that. And I think with some circles, I'm going to add a few more circles. Hey, Terry, how are you going? A couple more circles just to add to this pattern. Okay. And I think that is about all I'm going to do. So I've created like a really, really different background to my card. Okay. So you can do this with absolutely any stamp set that you put your mind to um, that has some shapes and things. Just by adding a few um, shapes, you'll have a laugh, Donna. I am once again casing one of your Christmas cards. The Rejoice one. Every, it's a favorite, um, Deborah. Everybody loved that Rejoice Christmas card. Okay, so now I'm actually going to... Use one of the stamp sets here. I'm going to do thanks for all you do. So this is a super, super quick, easy card. Okay, I'm going to do that down here. I'm going to pop that onto a block. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Tuxedo Black ink. And the Tin Tile Embossing Folder. Fantastic combo. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp, thanks for all you do, down here on the bottom. Thanks for all you do. So this is a super, super quick, easy card. Now, I did get out some ribbon because I have some ribbon that will match. I think I'm going to do the Bermuda Bay ribbon. So this is our um, mini striped ribbon. Bear with me while I get the plastic cover off there. And it's in, um, I know it's Bermuda Bay, but as you can see, that matches the Coastal Cabana. So um, the beauty of Stampin' Up! products is sometimes it is quite easy that you can match um, the 
different colored ribbons and things so I think I'm actually going to go up and down that way so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use some of my liquid Tombow and I'm going to glue that on so the reason I use the liquid Tombow once again is because I get that wiggle room so I'm able to move it around exactly where I need to get it and because I do those super super fine borders it is handy to be able to move it around and get it right in place where you want it to go. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to use some tear and tape to pop my ribbon on. As you will get to know, this is my cheetah method of um, doing the ribbon. I don't tie the ribbon all the way around. I really feel like it's a waste of a lot of ribbon. So what I do is I put a bit of tear and tape on both sides. I cut my ribbon about an, I don't know, inch and a half longer than what I need it. So I just lay it on there and go, okay, that's enough. Cut it. And then with my pokey tool, I will take the backing off. Pop my ribbon into the tear and tape wrap it around can someone let me know like my phone just made a noise is that really loud in the video are you hearing my phone actually making a noise because I've got it on silent and it seems to be still making a noise yes the colors match up so easily so true Deborah and then I'm going to pop it onto a beautiful gorgeous grape background so look how fantastic that is and I'm also going to stamp the inside so um, I'm going to tie myself a bow to go on the outside so um, I make a loop wrap it around and pop a loop back through um, and always when I tie my bows I just reorganize the size of the loops get it to the size that I want it and I think that's pretty super cute Jan says, that's the way you put ribbon on too. You did hear a little ping. I know. I, I just don't know why it's doing that. It's on silent, so it shouldn't be doing anything. I've I've turned it onto silent, but yeah, um, I have no idea. So I do apologize, ladies, and I do not know why that is happening today. Um, I will have to investigate, but I can't investigate while I'm live. It's a little bit hard. So I'm just going to, with a glue dot now, I always have a couple of glue dots to make sure it sticks down really well. So there we have that. And I'm going to pop a glue dot underneath my ribbon so it makes my ribbon stay in place. Just underneath where my bow is and it makes your bow sit much nicer. Okay, so the insert for the card. Please tell me I have one here. I did cut inserts for the cards where did I put that oh there it is okay so now for the insert on my card I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of paper once again so now for the insides of your cards ladies it's really it's it's a no-brainer you really don't have to do a lot in the fact of um decorating the inside the only thing you need to do is bring a little bit of the outside to the inside so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stamp a circle I'm also going to stamp the square, which was up here, like that. And I'm also going to stamp the rectangle, which we had like that. And that's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. And I think I need, um, no, I'm going to do the square down here. Okay, and I think that's enough just to bring the outside to the inside. Thank you, Megan. And as I said, super quick, easy card today, um, but creating a, a, just a bit of a crazy geometrical background. 
Now I will pop these cards and everything that I make on my blog later on um, tonight. So normally what I do is I take pictures of my cards and then I upload it onto my blog and I upload the video. Um, so if you want measurements and things and directions of all of my cards, please feel free to go over to my blog. Um, you can actually access my blog from my business page or... Um, um, I will pop it in the link later after the video. So there you go. Super quick, super easy um, thank you card, which I think I could even do those thank you cards for my customers for this month. Hey, Lisa. So there you go, Lisa. Lisa was the one that um, Lisa's on here now. So a cute, easy background. I'm going to do another background for you as well. So the next card I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Balmy Blue. But I was going to use Gorgeous Grape. Why didn't I get that layer out? So just bear with me. I will um, cut a layer for the Gorgeous Grape. If I can find some Gorgeous Grape. Where was that there? Okay. So I will cut a layer. I'm going to use a different combination here today. I'm going to use... Army Blue, Merry Merlot, and our Gorgeous Grape. So I'll just pop the lids on these ink pads and get them out of the way. So I've got a bit of room here. You love the Balmy Blue? I do too, Deborah. One of my favourites. I think it's a gorgeous blue. I know I was, like, devastated when they took away our soft sky, but when they brought Balmy Blue in, it's so much brighter and so much um, more, yeah, more interesting, a bit more oomph to the colour. So, all right, so I'm going to cut this piece so that we can get the right size. So three and three quarters, five, five and a half. Oh. So I'm sorry, I was organised, but um, but obviously I wasn't as organised as I thought I was. I thought I had that layer already sorted. Okay, so now I'm going to do a similar thing with our birthday backgrounds. Okay, so this is um, a really, really awesome stamp set. And I love this Circles um, stamp in this stamp set. I think it is fantastic for doing awesome backgrounds. You can use any color combination that you would like with this so I'm just as I said I'm just going to play around with this color combination of balmy blue um, gorgeous grape and merry merlot hey Tanya how you going thanks for joining so um, awesome exciting fun time today with our 30 year celebration I just have to say I have been with stamping up for two years and it was probably one of the most exciting decisions I ever made in my life and what stamping up has done for me in my life um, is just amazing I never dreamt that only after two years I would be tripping around overseas compliments of stamping up so um, you can do so many things with stamping up and go to so many levels and it is wholly and solely your own decision of how you want to run your stamping up. You can join just only just to get the discount and that is it. Or you can do what I've done is join to get the discount and think, oh, I might even make some money out of um, some people buying off me online. And then, oh, I ended up turning around and earning the incentive trip to go to the Greek Isles. So, um, it is a fantastic company, but in the 30 years that Stamping Up have been around, they have never, and this is this is one thing that I was quite amazed at when I went to um, on stage, they have, as a company, they have never ever been in the red as a company. Now that blows my mind that a company can be um, 30 years old and have never ever been in the red. Like, and not many people can say that with business. Um, that they have been that successful that they have never been in debt. So um, it just goes to show that they definitely know what they're doing with the company. And um, you know what? It's just a big family of crafters all together. 
So I think it's fantastic that we can celebrate their 30 years of um, successful business. Um, sorry, I'm just going to try and read this comment. I've got something standing in the way. It's your daughter's 40th birthday. Oh, wow. So it's Stamping Up's 30th birthday and it's Kathy's daughter's 40th birthday. How exciting. Okay, so now I've done the um, Gorgeous Grape. I've done the Balmy Blue. I'm now going to go through with the Merry Merlot. And randomly stamp. Like so. So now you've seen how quick and easy that was. And we've all of a sudden got a cute, cute background. Um, and Angie says she agrees with that. She's got so many new friends. Yes, and Angie is part of my wonderful Wild Heart Crafters team. Hey, Jenny, thanks for joining. How you going, Jenny? How's your husband and how's yourself? I know you've had a few health problems there lately, so I hope everything's going well with you guys. Okay, so I'm actually going to use, I think I want to use the big happy birthday out of this stamp set. And I'm going to use my Stamparatus because we need to be um, definite that um, you're all still alive. Well, that's a good thing, Jenny. I'm so happy to hear that. That is awesome. Cold in Melbourne today. I can tell you when I got up this morning, it was a little bit chilly this morning too. I went to bed in shorts and a singlet and I woke up this morning thinking, oh my Lord, I should have had my um, winter winter jammies on. But anyway, okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I've got my Stamparatus. So I'm going to line my card up down in this bottom corner. Now, I actually want to put the happy birthday up towards this corner, but I'm actually going to stamp it in um, our black memento ink. So I think I will use one of my um, magnets just to hold my cardstock in place so we don't lose that. Okay, so hopefully that's going to... I think I'm actually going to try just a bit of paper in there first and make sure that I've got this stamping really nice and straight. So let's see if we can do um, a bit of paper here so we can see if it's looking like it's going to stamp straight. Okay, will that work? Let's go that way. Okay, so I'm just going to roughly stamp this so that we can see. Hot in Brisbane, Megan. I'll be in Brisbane soon, Megan. A couple of weeks, I'll be up there for on stage. I cannot wait. I'm so excited about on stage. Now, if you're new to watching my channel and you don't understand what on stage is, on stage is like one big massive party for us at Stamping Up. So we all get together and we all um, celebrate everybody's um yes that's going to look good so i'm going to leave my paper there now that was just a sample stamping just to make sure that i have it sitting really nicely and sitting exactly the way i want it now the reason i'm using the stamparatus is i want to stamp this a couple of times because our black memento ink even though it's black ink it stamps but it gives more of a washed out type of um um Yes, I do have Stamparatus grid paper. I'm not using it at the moment. I just used a bit of scrap paper to um, to stamp that and check it out. Okay, so see how it's given me a bit of a wishy-washy, not-so-exciting stamp there? I'm going to re-ink, and I'm going to, I'm going to stamp this a couple of times just to get a really, really... Hey, Julianne, how are you going? Just to get a really um, nice black... Happy birthday image happening. Oh, is it your birthday in six weeks' time, Jenny? Happy birthday for six weeks' time. Deborah's saying, lucky you, Roz. I don't, I've missed that comment, so I don't know what Roz was saying. Okay. So, I'm just going to stamp that down again, just to get... Another, there goes that ding again, and I have no idea why people are dinging. 
people are obviously sending me messages, so I'm so sorry. Mid-December is your birthday, bad time of the year. Do you know what? My husband's birthday is the 29th of December, so he doesn't enjoy having a, a birthday on the 29th either. He's he's very, um, very anti-birthdays. He's always saying that he wants to um, designate a day halfway through the year and, and celebrate his birthday halfway through the year, so in June instead of December. Okay, so there we have a definite bold now if you wanted that to be really nice and bold you could use our black stays on ink the only reason I don't use the black stays on ink is because while doing a live video I don't really have the time to um, to be trying to clean it up like I like to clean my stamps straight away people love me and that's why they're messaging me Angie you think so Oh, yours is the 13th, Jan, and your brother is the 28th, yes. And my father-in-law's birthday was the 20th of December too. So we weren't only celebrating Christmas, we were also celebrating um, birthdays around that time as well. Yours is the 27th, and my daughter's is Christmas Day, Christina. My cousin is Christmas Day as well. And the day that she turned 21, it was so funny. She actually had to have her 21st birthday party um, a week before, so that because everyone was going away for, for Christmas holidays. And um, she said apparently for 21 years, all she kept hearing was all that my uncle got that day was... Um, a ham sandwich because his wife was in the hospital pregnant and having a baby so she bought out him uh, she she presented him with this ham sandwich saying for 21 years I've heard that all you got for that Christmas lunch was a ham sandwich so she gave him a ham sandwich in her speech and said here you go dad so let's hope this gives you another good 21 years and I just thought that was fantastic oh yours is a 29th Lisa it's the same as my husband's Okay, so I'm just going to mount that up onto a piece of our gorgeous grape cardstock. Now, I'm actually going to use, we've got the striped ribbon in the gorgeous grape as well. So I'm actually going to use that on this card. So I'm going to turn that over and with some tear and tape. Um, which side is it? This side here, I'm going to pop a bow on. Rhonda, yours is the um, 31st of December. Party every year. Exactly. New Year's Eve. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. Everybody celebrates your birthday because everybody celebrates New Year's Eve. That's so funny. Okay, so I'm just going to take the backing off my tear and tape. I'm going to pop my ribbon into the tear and tape, wrap it around, and there, okay, that, I'm then going to pop that up on dimensionals, just to give it a bit of dimension, oh Jenny, your friend is New Year's Eve as well, are oh, your youngest were both born in January? I actually know a friend of ours and she actually had her daughter who is now uh, well in her 20s um, and she was born on New Year's Eve, uh, sorry, New Year's Day. She was the first baby in Australia to be born. She was born at one minute past midnight on New Year's Eve. So um, she was the first baby born in Australia. So um, that was pretty exciting. And she even got on the news and everything. She was um, friends of mum and dad's. And it was so funny that we were sitting watching the news on New Year's Day. And here was our friend sitting there that had just had a baby that night. Your in-laws were married on New Year's Day, Deborah. Wow. Well, I suppose at least a lot of people are on holidays on New Year's Day. So, um, and most people have a public holiday, so most people don't work. It's probably a great time to actually have a wedding. I don't know whether I'd like to have a wedding around Christmas time like that, but it's a great time to get people that live away to come got to stand up and get over this one so that I can make sure I stick that on nice and straight. 
So like so. Then going to tie a little bow. I'm feeling like we've got one more, we've got time for one more card here today. And I actually have a stamp set that I've been meaning to use. So does everyone want one more card after this one? I'm going to still do the insert for this one so that we don't um, miss out on doing the insert. And I'll show you once again how I take the outside of my card. I need to tie that bow again. That didn't work real well. I think that's my postie turning up probably with some more stamping up boxes, I would say. Excuse me, people, while I just go and check... That's the posty. Yep, it was the posty. Everyone's stamps clubs have just arrived. Stamp club stamps have arrived. Finally got to pack the kits and cut the kits. You girls are going to get your stamps club early, hopefully. I get myself motivated and get it all done early. Hey, Julie, how are you going? Now that Julie's popped on, I'm actually rem I, I remembered. I told her I was going to do a giveaway. Does anyone want a giveaway today? Does everybody want a giveaway? you got to share my video, everybody. Who wants to be in the give right? Yes, it was a big brown delivery box. Who wants to be in the giveaway? Share my video, people. Share it now. Crazy. you got to share it and type shared, and I'll see if I want to give a giveaway. What was the thing? Prize patrol? Do we want a prize patrol? That would be lovely. Please. Oh, we could do a giveaway. Um, I'm looking for my glue dots, which I had a while ago. Oh, and once they're there. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, sharing, everyone. Well done. Keep the sharing happening. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to pop that ribbon on there. I'm also going to pop a glue dot. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. That is awesome. Okay, so my giveaway today, I've actually got some cute little giveaway gifts. I might do another prize patrol. If you hang around to the end, I might do a prize patrol at the end. But I have a cute little pop-up bin. You all have seen our pop-up bin, haven't you? Hey, Sky, thanks for sharing. Our cute little pop-up bins. Okay, so I'm going to give away one of these cute little pop-up bins. Who wants to win the cute little pop-up bin? Comment, girls. Get your comments in. Who wants to win this cute little pop-up bin? I just had to laugh. That posty coming... Um, Glue dots. Sorry, what are we asking? Glue dots. I just stuck the the um the thing on with some glue dots. <laughs> okay, I'm going to randomly pick a winner. Here we go. I'm going to randomly pick a winner. Oh, you are all so awesome sharing. So so awesome. Okay. Carol Lacey, you are the winner of the pop-up bin. Carol Lacey, where's a piece of paper that I can write that down on so that we make sure I make a note. So, Carol, if you're still on, you need to... Um, Carol Lacey, you need to private message me and give me your address. Um, so I can pop that in the um, post for you. So congratulations, Carol, for being my lucky winner on today's live video. But hang around, girls, because I may do one more. You never know. I could do another prize patrol. 
we will see how we go. Um, so, Carol, if you're still watching, um, oh, you are, ah, Carol, well done. So you please tell me you live in Australia, Carol, because you can only live in Australia for me to send out my gifts. Um, okay, so I'm now going to do my insert for the card because, once again, we are not going to do the card without the insert. Okay, so I'm going to go back with my um, ink pads again. And um, I'm going to stamp just a little insert for the insert of the card. So I'm just with the Balmy Blue randomly stamp. Okay, clean that up. So they are, um, you live in Nowra, that's right. I do remember Nowra, New South Wales. Well, congratulations, Carol. You've got a little pop-up bin. They are very, very handy. I have a pop-up bin on my desk all the time, and they are so handy for popping your, um, your rubbish in. Keeps our craft rooms a little bit tidy. Okay, so um, stamping with the gorgeous grape. Small world, Suzanne, you live in Nowra as well. Well, congratulations. You may be neighbours. You never know. You may live very close to each other. Now I'm just going to do the Merry Merlot just in the corner like that and maybe one like that. Okay, so now we have our insert matching. Um, oh, you live five minutes away as well. <laughs> Okay, um, Julie, <laughs> Julie's saying, because Julie came to my stamp class this morning, now you do easy stamping, Donna, this morning, you wanted me to be on to it. <laughs> do you know what, Julie? Did you enjoy your class? Tell everybody how you enjoyed your class, because you did really, really well. You and Tabitha had a wonderful morning, and um, you have cookies and cream ice cream container for your bin, Mike says it gives him a reason to eat ice cream. I could probably use that as an excuse as well. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this insert in. So please stick around, people, until the end because I will be doing another giveaway. I've got something else that's pretty cute that I can give away as well. Okay, so there you go. A quick, easy background once again. So, Lisa, that was for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the background um, stamping that I've done. I will get away from the background stamping now and get more into... Um, doing something else I have a a stamp that um, that I have been looking at and thinking I should do something with it um, for ages so I think what I'm going to do is do one more card do you want one more card people one more card okay How's Angie? Glad you had lots of fun and laughs with Donna. You're very lucky. Do you know what, Julie? I must say that Angie would probably be very jealous because I'm sure Angie would absolutely love to come to a class with me in person. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Does that mean yes, please to another card? Okay. I actually have another card in mind, another stamp set in mind, so I'll pop that one aside. So we've done some cute, quick cards there. I'll just clean up here a bit, ladies, so that we get a bit more room so I can move around. Okay, and I'll grab the stamp set that I was thinking of over here. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Theo's here and he's trying to get on his pillow and I sat the big brown boxes on his pillow so he's not overly impressed with me. Okay, where is it? This one. Okay. I don't know whether you have seen this stamp set, but I have. I, I love stamp sets that lend to colouring. Um, so I need to... I realised when I went out to the post office, I trod on my catalogue and I broke my catalogue, which is not real good, but anyway. I'll just go and grab some white cardstock.
Okay, I'm going to use some of these cards that we have, which I think is fantastic. I have the silver and I also have the gold edge cards. So I'm going to, I might even make two cards, people. You might get really, really spoiled here, depending on whether I've got time. I will, I will try one. If I haven't got time to do two, we may just get one done, but I've got to keep an eye on the time. So someone please keep reminding me of the time because if it's getting close to three o'clock, I'm going to have to finish up and go and get my daughter. So I need to measure exactly what that measurement is in there. So three and three quarters by five. So I may do five five and a quarter by four that's what I'm going to do so five and a quarter by four I'm going to cut some white layers it's 209 thank you everyone I just need to remember um, five and a half by four although I did say to my daughter if I'm not there you know I'm still doing my live video and I'll be there soon but I can't leave her hanging around at school. I don't I, I don't like them hanging around for any length of time. Okay, so and bear with me my ratty edges because I need to pop a new blade in my cutter and I haven't done that yet. But anyway, we will make do. <laughs> Kathy. Say naughty and it's eleven oh nine. Yeah. Well, and the only one that would be quite upset probably would be my daughter. But anyway, she'll be hanging around school waiting for me to turn up. Okay, so I'm going to do Noel is one of them and the other one is Joy. So brand new stamp set or 1.10 p.m. Yeah, don't confuse me, Deborah. I know, daylight savings time. Is anyone like me and hates daylight savings? I know we do it in New South Wales, but I wish I lived in Queensland sometimes. I hate daylight savings. I like it of a night time. I, I do agree that of a night time it's not bad because at least you get a bit of time to get things done outside. But yeah, I'm afraid to say that I'm a, I'm a person that doesn't enjoy daylight savings. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, no, I'm just going to do it in black memento ink because I don't have time. I was actually going to emboss, but I don't have time to emboss. So, I'm just going to ink it up in black memento ink and it's just going to have to be memento ink and colouring today. And I really feel like I need to re-ink my memento ink. And that is really, really crooked, so I'm going to end up stamping that crooked if I do it like that. I need to straighten it up so that it's nice and straight there. Okay, so I've got my spare piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to stamp right down in the middle. I'm actually going to do it up towards the top. You love it in Tassie, Julianne? Yeah, I know. They do wake you up early, the birds, don't they? They're up and they're ready to go. Okay, so that's our joy. It's a little bit crooked. Bear with me. I am doing this under um, circumstances, but that's okay. It can be a little bit crooked. My next one is going to be Noel, so we're going to do that. I'm going to ink it up. You were born in South Australia, Stephanie. Um, so, Stephanie, I don't know whether you were listening before. Um, if you wanted to join today, if you had um, your money together to join today, the specials that we have, the 15% off on the selected stamp sets, you can order them in your starter kit today. So I've just found out confirmation from stamping up that we're allowed to order them in your starter kit so if you were thinking about joining i'm going to put it up towards the top hopefully this one's going to be straight um you can get them in your starter kit 
Stephanie, so I just wanted to let you know that gets a bit crazy when you actually want to do something and yeah okay so Noel and Joy now I would normally have put them um, in the Stamparata so that I could stamp them a few times because as I said my Memento ink does need re-inking so it's a little bit on the um, flat average side today Okay, I'm going to bring in the Stampin' Blends. So, I think I want Call Me Clover. Call Me Clover Dark. Call Me Clover Light. I think I want some... I don't know whether I want Soft Suede or Crumb Cake. I think I'm going to do Light... Soft suede and dark crumb cake together. For that. Um, and I think that'll be all for that one. So I'm just going to try that for those, for the joy. Um, yes, very exciting, Stephanie. So I just thought I would let you know that. Okay, so I'm going to do the light Call Me Clover for our leaves and our stems. Now, using the brush end to do large colored areas but the when I say using the brush end you have to be very light-handed with your brush ends or otherwise you will destroy the tips so um, you actually barely touch the image when you're coloring So I don't know how I'm going to go colouring wise. Everyone keep me up to date with the time so I don't get carried away. I'm actually going to cut this one down. I'm not happy with how crooked it is. So maybe I might be able to cut it and straighten it up. Okay, so I'm just laying down some light Call Me Clover on these leaves. This is a stamp set that um, I think is fantastic for the simple fact that the actual sentiment itself or the stamp itself is just a massive feature that you can pop on the front of a card. So you actually don't need to do anything else. It's just a case of stamping, colouring and more or less your card is done. You just got to layer it up on a, a couple of um, different pieces of cardstock and the hard work is done and as you can see coloring happens pretty quick um, you don't have to be an expert at it these blends absolutely um, it is a pretty green isn't it this is the call me clover this is um, a new one that's in our holiday catalog so it's not one of the original colors that came out um, but I just think it's a really nice bright green for Christmas I don't know about any of you, but I'm the old olive and those olivey greens. I really, really prefer like a nice bright green. And the granny apple green is awesome as well. Although I thought the granny apple green was not too Christmassy. Okay. And... I think I'm just going to do that one there. Probably should have done that in the soft suede, but anyway. Okay, so now the dark crumb cake. I'm going to go here with the dark crumb cake. Who loves a blend? Who loves colouring and, and using our blends? Hasn't it taken our stamping to a whole new level? Being able to colour in a stamped image, I think, is fantastic.
it matches my nails, Kathy. Okay, so I'm going to use the dark Call Me Clover just to add some interest in the middle of our leaves and along that bottom edge there, shaded. Same with here. Now this just creates a bit of depth to um, your leaves. Okay, so I'm adding a bit of the dark, then I'm just going to go over it with our light. I do prefer the ball tip end and going round and round in circles to do that blending. I just feel it blends it more. You can get into it more. You can press harder. Um, you don't have to worry about damaging that tip. And you can really get that to blend nicely. Just small round circles and just going over where the light meets the dark. Oh, no worries, Judy. Um, let me know, Judy, if you need to, um, if you need a hand placing that first order. Um, Judy's on my team as well. Um, if you need a hand placing that first order, Judy, um, getting your um demonstrate a portal set up please don't hesitate to ring me if you need to chat i know you said you were keen to order some of the um some of the specials today which aren't we all i was up this morning and ordered my first order at six o'clock i just placed another order for customers this afternoon before i came live and i'll probably end up placing no and my luck i'll probably place another order before i go to bed tonight the specials are just too awesome. They're just too much of a good savings. And every time I see somebody use another set, I'm like, oh, I want that set. Okay. Um, now, we do have... Do I have it here? No, I don't think I do. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. I might do a bit of the... Um, darker soft suede just to add a bit more interest to these little I don't even know what you'd call them acorny things seed pods oh no worries Lisa thanks for joining okay that those okay all right I'm then going to color this one 222 do you think I can do this do you think I have enough time quickly color this one I sort of need to be finished by about 10 to 3 really So everyone keep that time chiming in there for me. Okay. So once again, with the um, light Call Me Clover for the leaves. Who loves colouring? I actually didn't think I loved colouring, but I can tell you, since we've got the blends, I absolutely love it. And it's very relaxing. And the beauty of it is if you go out of the lines, you can use our color lifter and remove the bits that are out of the lines. I do it so easy, you think I'm a pro at it, do you, Angie? The beauty of it is our stamp set actually gives us, um, oh, and I should have done that bit brown, but never mind, I've just made a mistake there. That should have been with our crumb cake and I've done it in green but anyway not to know it's a handmade card and you know what handmade cards are meant to be your own creation there's no mistakes in crafting 
I am doing this really, really quickly compared to what I would normally do it. Okay, that crumb cake. You could do this in different colors as well. You could um, even do these, instead of them doing them in crumb cake, you could probably do them um, red and have um, our old olive and real red and make them look more like berries rather than um, seed pods. I don't even know what they are. Does anyone know what type of things that, what I should be calling these? You're rather a handmade card than a bought one. So true. So, so true. I would much prefer a handmade card than a bought one. Okay, so we need to put some oomph into the colour here. So, a bit of dark happening up in the middle here. And as I said, the stamps more or less give us the spots where we need the dark. Um, the detail in the stamp will show you where you need to pop your darker bits. So as you can see, all of the darker lines here that the stamp set is using, I'm just using the dark on that and then go back through with the light in circle motion and blend it through. And these blend so much better, like, when they dry. So don't think that you haven't blended it. Like, let it dry and let it all smooth out and even out. And you'll find that um, when it dries, you get that beautiful look. Like, as you can see, the joy here. You can see that um, now that it's dried, all those darker areas are blended really, really nicely. 225. How am I going? 225. I hate being on a time schedule. I'm going to have to probably schedule my lives for earlier. I'm going to have to probably schedule them for maybe starting at around 1 o'clock on a Tuesday. But it just depends. See, if I'm doing a class, I can't start it at 1 o'clock because I'm still finishing my class up at 12.30. So I'm a bit stuck. But it's happening with the kids more and more often. And, and my eldest one was at school with my youngest and I never had the issue. But now my eldest has nearly finished year 12. She's actually working today. So I have, I have to go and pick up my youngest one. Because the oldest one can't because she's at work. So I'm just going to do some darker bits in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to, now if I had my black marker, which I don't, hang on, um, no, I don't have it here, it's not here with me, is it, or is it, is it in here? I think I've had it out, and I don't know where I've actually put it, and I don't think it's in that one. No, it's not in that one, I've, yeah, I've misplaced my light and dark black marker, but anyway. Um, I would have gone over the Noel and the Joy with the darker pen, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, Call Me Clover, I think, as my base. On one. So Call Me Clover, but I want a really nice color to match it which I'm thinking I want okay and I need to cut that down because that is not the right size I have no oh no that's right I was going to pop them on that wasn't I lordy lordy but I need a bit of color around it I think I think I'm going to Cut that down a little bit littler. And then I think I'll put a Call Me Clover layer on underneath. So that. And that. That way. 
This is called winging it, that's for sure. Okay, so that is now measured at three and three quarters by five. So I'm going to do this at three and three quarters by five. So I'm going to do it three and three quarters a little bit bigger than three and three quarters and five, I'm gonna do it a little tiny bit bigger. Let me see if that's gonna work. Ugh. Oh, and my furry ends, furry edges are horrid, 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 horrid. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do that onto that. I think looks a lovely. Okay, this one I think I'm going to do soft suede in behind. Okay, so soft suede. Now, what are we at? We're at, gonna do that four, so we'll do it three and three quarters by, three and three quarters by five. Three and three quarters by five, let's see if that works. Five, sorry everyone, the brain's just, um, Three and three quarters there. Okay, that one and that one. Please let that one work. How did that not work? Try again, people. Wowza. <laughs> okay, this is... So that needs to be four... By five and a quarter. Work it out, Donna. Get with it. Five and a quarter by four. Let's see if that works. Yes. See, it's because I'm in a rush. It's because I'm in a hurry. Now, I'm just going to do this to trim my edges. Because my edges are horrid on there, so bear with me. Get rid of those furry edges, which are disgusting. That. That. Oh, much better. There's no way I could glue those on there with those furry edges looking like that. No way. So, I have a, a favourite little guillotine that I have that when that happens, I can trim them. So look at that. All sorted. Or you could use your um, nail file and file it off. I just need to pop some new blades into my... Um, that and that. Okay, so I'm going to glue those. No worries. Thanks for popping in. Okay. Do you think it's time for a prize patrol, ladies? Okay, so the prize patrol, I'm going to pick someone that's now on. So everybody comment whether you want a prize patrol, please. Comment in your comments because I'm going to pick someone out of the latest comments that are on here so that I know that you're still here. Um, Julie's chatting away to everybody that's here live. Obviously, prize patrol, says Crystal. Kathy says prize patrol. Who wants prize patrol? Rhonda K says prize patrol. Deborah saying yes, yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Give me some hearts, girls. And I'll think about a prize patrol. Kathy's saying prize patrol. Michelle, Margaret. Oops, a daisy, that's not the right layer. That one's the right layer. Prize patrol. Okay. All right, here I go. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to give away. I have these cute little sticky notes from Stamping Up, which are so super cute. 
absolutely super cute. They're from Stamping Up. They're an awesome little prize. Um, and the winner goes to Rhonda K. Rhonda K. You are the winner of the beautiful, cute little sticky notes. I'll make a note of that. So, Rhonda, can you please message me with your R-H-O-N-D-A? No, it's only R-O-N-D-A-K-A-Y. Please message me, Rhonda, with your address so I can pop them in the post for you. Okay, so Rhonda K, congratulations. You are the winner of my surprise. Sorry, everybody. That stopped because someone was ringing me, but I'm going to have to ring them back very, very soon. Um, so I'm just going to pop these on. These are some super, super quick cards that you can make. These, um, thank you for letting me know the time, Kathy. <laughs> okay, so there's a super, super quick card, and I've just put it on upside down. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Okay, I'm in a bit of a flap because that was my solicitor ringing me. So I need to um, I need to get off this phone and ring my solicitor when I get finished. And it's about our the sale of our block, I would say. So um, that one there. Okay. So as you can see, these bases are, pay attention to that, correct. Um, these bases are fantastic for making some super, super quick cards. And that is a really, really cute stamp set as well. So it's been a stamp set that's been sitting on my shelf for quite a few weeks. And I decided that um, I really wanted to get it out and play with it. So as you can see, some cute, easy cards. Um, check out your stamp sets, ladies, and see if you've got some stamp sets in your collection that you can do some of these awesome background um, stamping. And all you need is a really cute, bright sentiment, and um, you can make some really, really super cute cards. So I'm just going to flip you back around. So thank you very much for joining me this afternoon, and I'm so sorry about it being so rushed. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Now, as I said, if you want to make use of these wonderful, I'm just going to get rid of those lights so that I don't look so ghastly. Um, if you want to make use of these wonderful Stampin' Up! sales today, our 30th birthday celebration sales, please click the Shop Now tab. If you're watching this back on YouTube, if I get it uploaded in time, um, there will be a link to my store down below. Um, if you can't find the shop now tab if you just go to www.stampingwithdonnag.com you will find the online store link um, over on my website so i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope you all have a wonderful day please help us celebrate 30 years of stamping up it is an awesome company to be a part of as i said if you want to use any of these sales in your starter kit and join my wild heart crafters team please feel free to give me a call. I would be happy to chat with you and send you the link to join. You get $235 worth of product for $169. Awesome. Plus you're getting the stamp set sale at 15% off as well. So you can add them to your starter kit. So until next time, I hope everyone has a lovely day and I will be going live again at 12 noon on Saturday. So I'll see you all then. Bye for now.